this uh, story name is How gonna we end up this external material creation and uh, the the destruction of external this uh, our <coughs> human arts. <coughs> <coughs> They have prophesied <clears throat> many things last day destruction for this external creation. So <clears throat> again today we call in the Asal prayer. This is about about four o'clock this time period. Uh, I was sitting behind me and I got very tired again. And then began the light of God and show me the observation what will be <coughs> the end for our human creation. Not for the whole universe. This is a misunderstanding and misconcept. We should know in our life when something get old, then we make a recycling. Like a when we use clothes. They become old and we cannot use anymore. Very simple. We use one car and in the end a car get so uh, old that it doesn't function. <clears throat> so we throw this car, uh, we call it in German Stuttgart the place where this car can be used as a recycling and some part can be used uh, for this car. Very similar in my life, I bought a option houses and these houses was uh, so much uh, old that if I fix them from inside it costs me much more than to uh, destroy this house and build a new one. <clears throat> so in this case this uh, our human earth has a certain time in our human earth, moon, sun, uh, this small, our milk galaxy, but even not a milk galaxy, but we are talking about very small area. <clears throat> when sun gonna lose its power and energy then uh, earth gonna be cooled down, nothing will grow. Other side, sun cool down here, we cool down because our life is depending on sun with warmness. And uh, 
moon will lose his balance. I have explained this thing in uh, uh, my book, Science and Superstuality. Here what I saw, that Heavenly Father, our Creator, <coughs> first came to me and uh, cooled down his light. First he was so much kind, lovely, he was very tender love he gave me, but after a while I saw suddenly got face change to become a stone actually. And his height in heaven and earth became so big that uh, I do not know how for his head was going in this external creation. But I only saw his uh, whole face became, spirit become so stone that uh, in such a moment <clears throat> Anyone can be get fear or, or can get lame or death take place. So, but in this point he was not looking at me. Uh, but he was... <clears throat> Speaking in, uh, standing in external, this uh, human creation and speaking to the spiritual world and was saying, where are your gods who you are depending? Where are your prophets who you make a middle point? Where are your own helper who you were depending on? You have a wrong concept. in external and internal life that they will be your the one who will bring you to your destination. See today they are even cannot find their own destination. See, they are even still growing in different dimension. And see that they are asking mercy, repenting themselves, asking forgiveness confessing that I could forgive them. So why you were depending all those things when you 
know that I am the only one creator in external and eternal creation. This was a very fearful moment. And then God said, I drop this wall between external and internal creation. And he brought our all ancestor from where the life took place in external human creation. And he said you should come all in the physical world first. Come over here. So they all our ancestor and whoever was a fallen creation, they all have to come. God says, you remember this is the earth? where you have grown. And all the spirit of human creation was so fear and shaking and panic. God said, what you thought, why I cared this human creation and other planet, the life? Why I allow you to come from spiritual world to on this planet and other planet so you can grow? very quick speed. This was not my kindness and my love. There was no one. We, they all was in power position. Even my um, power position. I was shaking and Heavenly Father says, stand up. So with all my energy, I try to stand up and God say, keep your eyes on my face. So I have done the way my most beloved creator, Heavenly Father asked me. God says, Come to my right side and near me. And then God said, who in the human history and the other planet, I was the center point of love. And all the spirit who have a journey to find my love in unification in their life, they all should come right hand side. So I saw the all the spirit came right side. <coughs> and 
can't make a golden and blue sky and look at them and say nothing will happen to you. You are under the umbrella of my love. And then God said, all who wasted their time in human creation and other planet and had forgotten me, they should come on the left side. And all these human spirit and other planet spirit who wanted everything while they were living physically, but not a God. They wanted to fulfill every wish, but nothing to do with Creator. They want it to even finish the need of God. They had a thousand different purposes for their external life and different goal. While they were living, physically on earth and other planet, but they let their spirit die while spirit was longing to come to know their creator. All their life they give no nourishment for their spirit. Only they give nourishment to their physical body and was enjoying shortcoming life. So I could see their spirit was looking almost so dark looking in the end. And Creator was asking, where is your helper who you are depending and you have spent your life? Where is your love? There was a silence and earth was shaking again. And God was saying, where all those world The most cruel evil dictator, Pharaoh, Walnut, or doesn't matter which system was changed on earth, but they want to finish my need and live in their own world. And then God says, for this earth you was living and with this 
and you was using enjoying the sun enjoying my external creation enjoying the nature enjoying the mountain and you never say even that there must be someone who create this wonderful creation i create <clears throat> You went so far in your evil, cruel act that you deny me totally. You be. You are such a evil one to finish my name. This is your human creation where you are living. Do you find your loved one today? Do you find your friend and your relative who you was using my beautiful human creation do you find today your savior and your prophet who you was make a middle point and have forgotten me do you find anyone your helper today who can help you against me there was dead silence and left side all those evil spirit was so fearful and left side the hearing was so much like a when you have physical body and somebody want to throw you in the in the fire and the right hand side all spirit who has even loved god they end up with this journey with god inclusive i we were also shaking because we do not know what will be our fate now but the only things we saw on the right hand side the blue and golden cloud of sky was protecting us and all the spirit who had long forgot even they could not fulfill the journey because righteous people was always suffering on earth they was the one who was paying the price and this evil was the one who misusing them always was the minority who used the majority <coughs> all this system failed and rise downfall and again rise but there was no space for his creator for their creator and god was 
shouting. Where are you, saviors? Where are those who you are depending? Where are those who you are saying that there will be no justice system? Right hand side spirit was shedding tears and saying, Oh God, you are the only one today you can protect us. We know we have also many weakness, but we have never forgotten. And every time God looked at right hand side, there was a feeling something like they are living the most wonderful springtime protection. But when God looked at the left side, the environment seems like they're getting worse actually, and there can be worse punishment. And then God shouted, Where are the angels? So angel came and bowed. Most beloved creator. And God said, Among of them who are the worst, who has destroyed this humanity and other planet, make them separately. Because my eyes want to see today this most evil being at me. It doesn't matter if they are human or from any other creation. and put them in the clean because today I will never forgive them. They will be the worst who cause human or other planets suffering and pain. So angels will try. Then God put his hand on all the spirit who came in the mankind history or other planet and say, don't be fear and sad. And with my, with God, with finger, he says, you should go in the spiritual life and have a peace on you and grow, continue in my love and to come to know my value. So the right hand side, all spirit was, you should, resurrected, was gone. You should not see this day. Then God turned his face totally to this evil human, most worse evil and fallen wherever life was on this planet.
and Heavenly Father was staring at them. Actually, I wanted to go. My wish was to I get resurrected together with his own spirit who has devoted their life in whenever they came in million, million years on earth. But God said, you stand my right side, my right hand. Whenever I put my click to Creator, his face became so stone, so fearful. Then most beloved Creator change his his whole position and was showing his back to this own evil beings who came on external planet. And then God says, look at this external planet and creation who you have wasted your valuable time. Front of you I gonna, is gonna clap this human and other planet. And you will see these things. How you misuse those planets again. And then I saw such an earthquake. Like a some fearful punish, I just bowed down before God. God say, "Go back in heaven and observe from there the whole situation." And with his finger, he resurrected me in heaven, <clears throat> but I could still see. that these systems which is very near our moon, earth, our sun and all these small, small solar system or other planet <coughs> which was misused. Was exploding like a you could not see even their dust. So far I could see there was only dust and smoke and this evil was inside, was moving in those tornado, in this, in this dust and the first punishment. Then God says, this momentum, what you see, what you misuse, there was so darkness, so tornado and dust, everything was 
moving in such a terrible punishment. Take these things and go again deep hell in spiritual world. This day was so judgmental. I was filled with fear and I don't want to even look at my most beloved creator who was all the time kind, merciful and have forgiven me again and again and says continue to for my will. His love was sounding but today, this day I saw this card was not this card which I know. So in the most dark, fearful in tornadoes, this all spirit was going back more deep hell actually. But God was still standing between the heaven and earth and watching this that this was the human earth who was rebelling against me and all this planet and they thought there is nothing except one creator and there was a hating and disliking and became atheist. They showed their back to God. Secular society, material society. They want only to live and enjoy. And while everything was a destruction process, wherever human life or other planet was, God was standing between and watching this whole situation. On all the spirit and this other planet that was empty, they took this environment and went deep in the hell, spiritual life. And I was watching Heavenly Father from, from heaven and universal telepathy, what God was thinking this I like to describe. This whole energy, there was no even any stone left for this human creation, other planet, wherever life was. But God, I could read his universal thought that I will use now this recycling energy to create a new creation. And whatever God was thinking, it was coming this telepathy to me. That this new creation will be different and more uh, Perfect. 
but this will be another form. That this would be like a like a egg form was, and but for a head where life never touch those planet and universe feet. They need to destroy and so with this trust which was in the energy form was all over. God wants to use and other planet where no fallen angel and other being or human being fit was. Because the destruction took place and he wanted to use this uh, recycling stuff to create a new creation which should have a uh, life should have a contact with one creation to other external creation. And God was still standing between heaven and earth. And then he turned his eyes to me and in this moment his stone forms was melting. It was getting melty and slowly, slowly he was coming in this form which I know in in love actually. And then same time I saw God universal light was coming out from his spiritual form. And so much light was coming that I felt God can take whole external and internal, external universe and internal life in his one hand. And then he looked at me. But this time he was not staring at me. I saw again in his eyes so much love. But God has one another architecture plan this external universe and uh, how will be again external universe gonna look like at least I cannot complication imagination realize. I again fall in the power position. God said to me, Sai, stand up. I will be a same God which I was yesterday with you. And when I was a spiritual God with you, with you. You was always, wherever you live, <coughs> as a spirit, you was a very loving spirit, I think.
when I saw God surrounding love again coming back and it's, I still don't want to speak because this universal crystal view and golden light was not allowing me. And still my feet, my spirit feet was shaking. I don't know how I was holding myself. And I say, God, my beloved Creator is enough for me. If you forgive me, and keep your love umbrella. So I come out from this fear, this panic situation. In this moment I saw the God eyes was coming, so much crystal golden light out. And was coming direct to my face. So I found again peace. I came out of fear. Again I was sounding in the love of God. When I saw this very pleasant but still I did not felt because he was standing between this destruction process. But this destruction process, this human creation destroy, moon destroy, sun destroy, other planet, who wherever was the feet of fallen being or anything, destroy. And I don't have this courage to ask, but other side is surrounding love, giving me courage and hope that I should ask my question to God. I say, most beloved Heavenly Father, if the situation is not pleasant, I am so fearful right now, panic, but what are ha going to happen is all evil spirit. Because now there is all this destruction, destruction and this destruction, fearful element in went inside, this darkness went inside. They already had the darkness and now they're taking everything and they fall again in dark hell. There will be some salvation for them. After asking I went again bow position because this day of judgment was too much overwhelming for me actually. After a while I got look at God's face. He still was staring me at in love and then God says, I know their time when they're gonna come out. But let them pay every price what they have done as a crime against humanity and and they have done the worst act and cause suffering and pain for others. Honestly I didn't have courage to courage to ask God how long will it take because I I was wishing, I was so surrounding, even God's love was there, but the, I could not see God standing 
in between heaven and earth and every destruction is taking place in this earth where we was living and thought we will live forever was became a dust became a such a dust like this dust was longing for water to drink actually. My eyes cannot cannot describe whole eternal life what I saw. Then God look at me and calling other beings and angel and other high creation and say to me, thy internal happiness is for you there. Just go and complete your journey in unification and oneness in love with me. When new external creation will be ready, I let you know. I have one purpose right now. You don't know, but you will come to know. And in this moment, God put his hand like an umbrella. And then all what I was watching, the worst things, was taken away from me. After this, my spirit came in my body. Even I was sitting near the sofa lane, my whole body was shaking. <clears throat> I felt like I got a million heart attack. My body was so lame. I do not know where I was. I do not know my name. I do not know anything surrounding me. Only I know everything was empty in me. And my spirit, which have the light of God, was giving me a oneness. So I come back to life again to do more work of God. When I was able to stand up, I felt like this child who come out of mother womb and grow and <coughs> when he learned to walk in, how many times he fell? So I watch outside my office and I saw such a beautiful rain and sky was. And I have to hold the wall until I could walk normal. I opened the door and took a chair and was walk, watching this nature, this rain. 
and suddenly I start crying as a child. And I was saying to myself, this all wonderful beauty will be gone one day. There will be nothing to me. All this surrounding wonderful nature environment, all this mountain, valley, waterfall, this forest, all this wonderful fragrancy of flower, bird flying. I'm surrounding my loved one. Everything will be one day gone. Where I will be, where they will be. Those thoughts I felt. Again that I could not breathe anymore. I felt that I'm taking my breath inside of my heart. Once again I bow, there was a raining, but I bow in the rain and I say, God, feel mercy for us. Feel compassion and kindness for us. God, what I have seen, even I will be in the internal highest places. This will be the worst nightmare what I saw. Actually in my life, I love rain so much. That this rain, since I left my home, uh, there was a many occasions in my life, a terrible dark time period, and I want to escape Europe in one country to other countries. And this rain was uh, helping me because that time there was. There was so much rain that, and there was the old system was, so they don't even control uh, border police. So this rain was amazing grace and saved my life as a homeless continue my journey one country to other country. And that's the way I was living homeless. That's why I say, if you take me from Kabul or from Iran and Turkey and Bulgaria, Yugoslavia, <coughs> far Hungary, Czechoslovakia, if you take me, all over the world, like a <coughs> Austria, Holland, Belgium, and France, or take me Spain, or take me in Denmark, Scandinavian countries, all these European bridges where I live as a homeless man will witness and that's why I know this European culture, European way of thinking, European, how they feel, how their traditions are. If I look at in past, it looked like a worst time in my life, but when I look at now, Actually, God gave me the most beautiful gift to come to know most of the mankind. And uh, 
Middle East, many country I live. He opened my, uh, my mind as an international, tolerant, universal. And traveling those, I see today there was a greatest gift. He made me universal being. And how? Later, even I was living as a homeless life, but I was traveling every night in different part of spiritual, eternal life, countless creation, countless paradise and heavens. More I was traveling, I became a universal being, and I became a cosmos citizen. So. I have seen so many countless creation in one eternity to other eternity to another eternity to another eternity. And this was all was possible. <sighs> what gave me God a everlasting gift. What I have loved, he gave me back his light. And this light is make possible my journey with more lighting speed or have made my journey to this the time and space. So it seems like I am I am old man but spiritually I am oldest spirit actually which I observe with my journey and experience and what I have journey with God and wherever he took me in eternal life cross and other eternities I can say I became very universal cosmos being what should I say? One side is so amazing grace, other side, obviously in my heart, wherever I go in my journey, I, I never felt home actually. I have lost this feeling of home, the only places in highest paradise or heaven where I find footstep of God or monument where God was, few moments was there, this monument are there in all high creation and paradise and heaven. Those places I feel my home, like, uh, like I got my lost love back. But then after a while, I fly again to find some more footprint of God. And this, my journey made me so stranger, stranger, homeless. We call Auslander, mean you are so stranger, you not belong to any place. <sighs> Sometimes I ask myself what I have seen all. Where is springtime gone? Where again this time will appear? Where I have lost my time? Where is my home? Who I belong to?
this light of God. One side gave me everything. Everlasting love, peace, spiritual happiness. But on the other side, I have taken my peace away. Endless love is there, but endless sorrow, sadness, emptiness and broken heart is also carrying with me. But by my own experience I find out this is not mine. This is in the light of God. So in this case I can say more light increasing inside of me, more I can liberate God emptiness, God loneliness, God sadness. More opportunity I receive light I receive, it opens new opportunity, new eternity to come to know God a little bit more, a little bit more deepest way which I never know him before. Wind has limitation, but I became windless. And my spirit is like a kite, Drachen. It's flying away in these eternal eternities. And there is no one who holding with the rope to to staring at me, stare at me. This uh, the wind of love of God and the light of God, it taking me and not knowing me to look at back. If I say I have no holy feeling, this is very true. And this wind and this light of God always taking me future eternities. I don't know where I'm going to, where I will be. People call fate and Shakes all in destination, but here is no destination left anymore, no fate left. This such a valuable card creator, and this shortcoming life, how we treat him, worse. I don't know how far we will pay those prices in dark dimension. We create this darkness. On the other side, other hand, more you love God, more you take his sadness, loneliness, his emptiness. And then time comes in your life <laughs> you cannot stay in and control your own spirit.
one occasion God was so much in love with me and I say God who controlling who steering Shraya my spirit I just the spirit and this light take me wherever it wish and other part of eternity is another part of eternity. God look at me, it was, I remember this, so much love in his eyes and he says, I am not staying watch Toya, your spirit. That's what you ask in love to be with me. And in this love, you want to become oneness with me. So here I gave you my own light, my own heart, my own eyes, my own to hear, feel, smell, all these senses. What belong to me, I give it to you. And now you are complaining at me. When I heard this thing, I stopped. I was swimming, God. I, I was swimming and sharing. So I said, God, I'm not complaining, but I don't know where I belong to now. <laughs> God put his hand on my shoulder and he says, with very lovely voice, now you became like me. You see, you wanted to know this creator. Now you came to know this creator. I don't have home and now you don't have home. I don't know where I will be and you don't know where you will be. And you don't know where you will be tomorrow and but only I know because tomorrow don't exist for me. I was still crying, shaking, sobbing and I don't know what shall I say to God? God said, you ask me, my love, and this loneliness, emptiness, this sadness, is always in my love. <clears throat> so you inherit everything. And I look at God and I say, God, how long this journey will be continue without fate? And God stared at me, so much in love. God says, so long I don't find home. Then God took me now, he kissed all over my face and he says, if you have more questions, all right, go now. Actually, I do not have any question.
God was <coughs> moving his throne slowly and he was staring at me with so much love, with compassion. With, with kindness, we say in German, mit Leid und mit Gefühl. <coughs> so this is a story of my love. This is a story of my one side judgment, other side forgiveness, other side loyalty, and other side everlasting love. And I don't know where it will be. But wherever I will be, It's amazing, they always spiritual fate and happiness are waiting for me, but without God. I came in this point in my love with God that without God, I have no home anymore. I see God creations and creation, God love one, God love one and God beloved one and beloved one. And uh, many times I ask God, beloved one, uh, can you help me? And I can go back where I was belonged to. I remember my childhood, I remember my past, I remember all those relationships. I remember so many things. Every heavens, they say, every tunnel light. We are your family now. Therefore I say to my children, to my loved one, if you want, we should be together. Then at least follow my footprint. So I ask these members, one family member, if you want, and we should be together, follow my footprint. Many time when I'm in nature alone, I sit down where nobody sees me. I share many tears and I say, what kind of world would be if very near time Messiah Jesus, the Son of God, would share more and more about God. So we would come to know his life experience, his observation, his journey. That's why I'm very eager, I'm very hungry, thirsty. When uh, in my moment, this prophet sometimes share, I love to hear because I want to know is there something which I don't know. But at least with their journey, I have a hope 
one day they will be like me or in future the books these are the diamond these are not the books this came out all chaining everything from the two essential source query by god so we ever will be new messiahs new prophet new son and daughter of god surely and i will come to know them in spiritual life and i see them they are very similar situation like me so i will be not feel so lonely <laughs> when everybody will share god emptiness loneliness sadness so this burden will be more more less maybe then i find my faith my good luck by shikla but the situation and process what i am going through in my life mission will of god i don't know That's why many times I become like a child. Many times I speak a lot of sense of humor. I even like to come worldly word to so take this burden away from me because when this burden of love is standing, I feel many times. not i die with heart attack because it's right now overwhelming situation that's why many times i am no more serious I just want to go far away. Just a sunny day when I was a young boy, and I was calling my father's name, and there was a such a beautiful sunny day, spring day. Even that time, I never thought what could have become. He he had in the vision. what i will carry this and i will never return back home this i never thought now sharing with in this books and in future generation actually i'm giving my own emptiness my own sadness my loneliness that i become lighter so when god asked 300 books i felt god giving me 300 uh, wonderful gift in my life I never felt any burden, and I felt this divine moment in love will never come back again. I don't know how my member feel. I only know. I know how my member feel. So I know whole situation. I can see their spirit. I'm not a spiritual blind. My spiritual senses are very. I see things with God eyes. But only one point I have to say: when so many billion, million and 
beyond this prophet when they came. At the one point, they did not saw this blessing. They saw this bird in the tree. And therefore, every 6,000 year began again new timing for new Messiah. And it's continuing, it's happening. In 21 century, you see me. What God says, you are not a Messiah of earth. You are a Messiah of eternal life. You represent and you will represent my heart in all the creation. And you are the father who discover my love as a founder to share in eternities. Who discover my love. So in this case I feel very lucky. Uh, I feel a wonderful fate ahead, my luck. But I opened my heart, I told you the whole, my journey situation. And now you can take a time, first read, this is what I have said, close your eyes and take a time how you feel and where you belong to. And even this story will guide you that you have a long way to go. And there's a shortcoming in life. It will tell you desperately that not only every day, every hour, or every minute, Every second is to love God is worthy for your eternal love. Thank you, most beloved Heavenly Father. This good luck came in my life. After countless cross, I lost many things, but what I got through your love, these are more valuable. And for this, It's an amazing blessing that all this tear I have shared, sharing about you and sharing about my own situation, how easy it is to become God heart. I don't know how many of you want to become God heart. I welcome them. I invite them. They should have every blessing, even more than I. But there's a long, long way. And this journey seems like it will be never enough for whole eternal life. So good luck for you and good luck for me and good luck for this future generation who will follow my footsteps to come to know the value and the reality of Creator. Bless are those who comes and remove this darkness which is causing human suffering and human pain.
they will be greatest people, more greater than, far greater than. I like